Okay, so here I have a modified Boss DR55 drum machine. There are two modifications evident on this one. Um, first of all, you can just about see in this shoddy light the 9 volt input on the back. I've got a um, power supply with a 9 volt output and I've rigged up a, a little 9 volt input on there. Um, sorry for the image quality here, I'm just on a, a tablet and it's autofocusing is pretty terrible in this light. Um, I've also got uh, an Arturia beat step, which I've got a pretty straightforward 16 step sequence running on here. Um, now the gate output on the beat step is running down to the foot switch input on the DR55. Now normally the DR55 takes a foot switch to start and stop the rhythms. But I've modified it with a very small circuit um, which converts that foot switch input into a trigger input so you can clock the DR55 from an external pulse. Um, now then, the caveat here is that first of all you do have to modify the DR55 internally. You have to add a very small circuit which is a thumbnail piece of strip board with some four or five components soldered to it. Um, and you have to cut a jumper inside the circuit and solder a couple of wires, but there's there's no massive modification to the actual PCB necessary. It's a fairly straightforward modification. Um, the other caveat is that the DR55 tempo, in order to clock correctly from this modification, you set the tempo to its fastest. Um, basically, the modification that I've come up with utilizes the DR55's internal clock um, but re-triggers it on every step. Now the reason for that is that the um, DR55 has a couple of trigger outputs on it and I wanted to maintain the functionality of both of those. So with this modification you can still use the DBS and CSQ DR55 clock outputs in tandem with your existing clock source. Now then, this is how it works. see that the beat step is running fairly slowly and the DR55 is running in time. If I crank up the tempo a bit